Huawei has officially announced that it would hold the Harmony OS 2.0 beta developer conference on December 16. Details contained in a press release by the tech giant include the highlights and agenda of the event. From the look of things, the Harmony OS 2.0 beta will be the major highlight of the event. Huawei, in September, first unveiled the Harmony OS 2.0 at the company's Developers Conference 2020. Note that the name of the Harmony OS in China is Hongmeng OS. Let us now look at the major features that Huawei is promising its numerous users with the Harmony OS. But before further we do, if you do end up liking what you see here, please consider subscribing and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Now let's get back to the video. If you have compatible devices, as soon as you activate navigation on your phone, you can access it on your smartwatch. The navigation information is seamlessly displayed on the watch. This way, users do not need to update information on the cloud to access it on multiple devices. Cloud services will be for storing information and nothing else. If you have an information on your phone, you can seamlessly share it to your smart screen. This feature involves multiple devices, from phones to smartwatches, cars to smart screens, and so on. Huawei calls this the principle of oneness. As long as the device is available in the ecological chain, it can assess information on other devices seamlessly. In addition to interaction and animation, Huawei also adds new themes and off-screens for always-on displays to EMUI 11. Even for a small off-screen animation, Huawei's designers have done a lot of research. For example, in order to make the deer walk more agile, the designer studied the details of hoofs and legs of hoofed animals and the steps of four legs when walking. Human factors research directly considers first-hand human needs in operations. This means that Huawei actually invites people to do testing. These tests direct the company on where to place certain features. For instance, Huawei will invite volunteers to use professional equipment to collect the electrical signals of the hand muscles when sliding the mobile phone. This will help the company to determine the degree of muscle fatigue when sliding. It will also help Huawei to find the most comfortable operating position for users. So, what do you guys think about the upcoming Harmony OS 2.0? Let me know in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.